Ever feel like your mind's stuck on that crazy fast forward setting? Like all the thoughts just won't quit swirling. Yeah, like a blender's gone haywire. Exactly. So today we're hitting pause in a way you might not expect. We're diving into Japa meditation. Oh, interesting. It's this ancient practice, right? Using beads and a single word. Sounds kind of wild, but people say it unlocks this, well, superpower of calm. We're going to really break it down, but picture this. You've got these beads, kind of like a necklace, and with each it's, one... You're repeating a word. Yeah. You've got it, your mantra. It seems almost too easy to work, you know? But it goes way beyond just chilling out. So if you're up for tapping into, like, a calmer, sharper you, let's get into Japa meditation and how it might just become your secret weapon against everyday craziness. What I find fascinating about Japa is how it uses rhythm and repeating to get that inner peace. See, our brains total suckers for patterns. Really? Oh yeah. When we do something over and over, like Japa, it's like giving our nervous system a much needed time out, a chance to reset, you know? So that's where the mantra comes in. Like, I know people use um a lot, but what's the big deal about it? It's not just any random word, it's a sound or phrase you pick, but one that you'll use to focus your attention. Imagine your mind's a puppy in a park, easily distracted. Oh, I get it. Chasing every squirrel it sees. Exactly. The mantras like you, gently pulling that pup back again and again till it gets the hang of focusing. So you're training your mind to be present, not jump between a million thoughts. And didn't our source mention benefits even beyond relaxing, like better focus, even emotional control? Spot on. Research actually shows this stuff can rewire your brain, the parts dealing with attention and self-awareness. It's like building mental muscle. You practice, you get stronger at focusing, managing stress, even handling tough emotions. And there's that story, right, about Jake? He used Japa to beat his test anxiety. He was a wreck before, but after Japa, he was calmer, could think clearly during exams. Yeah, Jake's a perfect example. See that repetition in Japa? Mm -hmm. It chills out your nervous system. It's like when your heart's racing and you slow your breathing. The rhythm calms your whole system, mind included. Which brings us to our listeners. Think about it. Could adding a little Japa help you out? Imagine going into a tough meeting or dealing with stress and having that same grounded focus. The best part, it's not like you need fancy gear or anything. Our source kept saying, keep it simple. Find some beads you like. Because feeling them helps ground you, right? Right. Choose a mantra that speaks to you and just start with a few minutes a day. You're building a mindfulness muscle even in those short bursts. Exactly. Those beads are like your guide. But the real change happens when you take that focus and apply it to your whole life. Like imagine that same presence in your conversations while you're eating, even just when you're breathing. Wow. So as you go through your week, ask yourself, where could I use a little more of that Japa focus? You might be shocked at what happens when you add a bit more calm and focus to your day. 